Hi guys, so I'm back with another weekly palette use up video. So let's get started with my hourglass. Um, this is the ambient lighting edit surreal light palette. And this was from holiday 2016, I believe. This has two blushes, a bronzer, and then two face highlighting powders. One is more of a strobe light and one is a, um, like a highlighter, their traditional finishing powder. I really love this palette. I just kind of pulled it out, not to really finish it or put like a deep dent in it, but to just create nice looks with the blushes, especially, um, the bronzer I don't hit into as much just because it's a little bit deeper, but just getting some nice looks out of this, not really trying to use it up, but just trying to use it in general. And I love this palette and the marble makes it look so pretty. I love this and I hope that they do this packaging on other um, products because hourglass products are so luxe and that marble packaging just makes it look so much more just beautiful all together. And I love that palette. Definitely going to keep using that. Um, I went back to using my Tartlet Tees palette. So this is just a little mini travel. It has six shadows in it. As you can see, pretty neutral. Um, the top row is more brown. The bottom is more mauve tones and purples. I love this. I think it's a nice palette to just throw in your purse and go. Um, I used it in combination with this palette from Pacifica, which is the Crystal Matrix palette. And it has some bright colors in here, as you can see. And so for this one, I don't really have a lot of matte setting powders or crease looks, um, crease shades. So I was using this little neutral palette from Tarte. Um, and the two together was really nice. So Object of Desire palette, this was holiday, I want to say 2015 maybe. And um, I like this palette, although I don't get a lot of use out of it just because I kind of forget about it. It's not one that I constantly reach for, but I do think it's a nice travel palette because there are the neutral shades, the more plum shades down here, but you have a highlight blush and bronzer. So you have your full face palette and eyeshadow look. So this is a nice one to take if you're going on a vacation where you just kind of need neutral looks or... Um, if you're going to a party, like I'm going to a bridal shower coming up, I might take this just because everything's all in one. And then it's less for me to pack on my trip when it's just a weekend, uh, trip. So I actually do like this. I don't get as much use out of it as I probably should, but this was the same price as I believe as one of their high eye shadow palettes, the $59. And I think there's seven shadows in that. So this was actually pretty good pricing in my opinion. Um, and I will keep it around because I do think it's a nice palette. I just definitely need to use it more. So then I, let's just do this one next. The It Naturally Pretty palette. This is pretty shimmery, so I'm not sure how it's going to show up on camera. There we go. You can kind of, if I put it over here, I think. So this I actually like, um, it's pretty... I don't want to say it's boring, but it's pretty safe. I'll say that. Um, the shades are really pretty. You have a mix of warm and cool, and these are all matte except for this shade, which is a transforming shade. You're supposed to put it on top of the shadows, and then that adds a nice little bit of shimmer. I don't really see that too much happening, but it is nice just for the colors. Um, I mixed this with a liquid shadow that I had. I believe it's in this bag as well. Later, I'll show you that. But, um, yeah, it's so pretty, just nice. It was nice to just grab and go create really pretty easy looks with this palette. They blend nice. They're great quality. If you're a fan of mattes, definitely try the naturally pretty or the naturally pretty romantics palette because they are really nice quality. I have both of them. I just don't use them as much. You know, I have a lot of palettes, so it's hard for me to remember to use everything and I, I enjoyed it a lot when I used it though. And then I went back to using my Naked Basics 1 and 2 palettes, so I'm sure you've seen these, but this is the Naked Basics 2, which is more cool tone, versus the Naked Basics, which is more, a little bit more warm tone, but very neutral as far as the first three shades go. So you can see the difference here a little bit. This one isn't as dark, um, 
Like it doesn't take you as deep into your looks as you could get with this one. I do like these on their own. However, I was using them in combination with the chocolate gold palette, which is all shimmer. And as you can, well, it's mostly shimmer. It, this, this, and this are all matte, which creates a nice look as well as this color here. And the rest are shimmer. So it is really pretty. I love the colors of this palette. It has a nice gold. Um, a really pretty green, purple, and pink. So there's a lot of really pretty colors that come out of this. I think this is one of my favorite chocolate bar palettes, but it's just so pretty. But I used it in combination with the Naked Basics just to kind of get um, some different looks, some more complete looks. So definitely love all of these. And if you haven't used these in a while, pull these out because you can use them in combination with a lot of different eyeshadow palettes or a lot of different uh, single shadows so it's really nice to mix into your collection. I think I also mentioned the Jaclyn Hill palette in one of my recent weekly palette videos um, but here it is if you aren't familiar with it I'm sure we all are but there's so many different looks that you could create out of this palette. I love all of the shades in here. I don't tend to pull for these bright ones as much but um, I also I'm not a huge fan of these real red shades in here, but everything else I love, everything um, in here can be used for some sort of look. I've used every shade in here and they've all just created such pretty looks. And this shade here, my eyes just drawn to that shade when I opened this up, that's where my eye goes. But um, yeah, love this. If you haven't picked it up, pick it up. I picked up mine at Ulta, so it has that nice uh, the colors are all labeled on the back and then it has that silky feeling to it so you don't, it's not as messy, it's still messy, but. So I went know. back to using my Melissa Michelle and Ulta palette. This is the original palette they released. She just released another palette as well as some other products with Ulta. So it has a blush and this could be a highlighter and bronzer combination depending where you place your brush in this, and then these nine eyeshadows and a liquid lip. This liquid lip is really nice quality. Um, it doesn't dry down super, super matte, but you can tell that it's on and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I used this one day during work, and at the end of my shift, uh, it was still there, which was really nice. So this is just a really pretty neutral, uh, neutral tan matte brown. And love that and then you can create so many different looks but again really pretty natural uh, brown you know safe for some people I know a lot of people like their color I have my color on today I have green on my eyes but um, you know it's just nice for everyday looks you can create so many different looks out of that so I enjoy that palette as well the other products I was using this week, just going to run through real quick. Um, I switched out my Fiona Styles powder. This was in Madison 0304, and this was a dark tan shade. I switched out for another pow uh, powder that I think I can pan pretty quickly, so I want to try to do that. I also was using my Wet n Wild. I'll have a Cosmo. This is a highlighter, and it's so pretty. It has... Um, swirls of pink and champagne together and when it's mixed together it comes out as such a pretty light pink champagne on the lid and it not on the lid on the cheek and it just looks so so pretty I love that and a couple other highlighters I was using was the baked Vib vivid baked highlighter from revolution and this is in matte lights so this is a matte highlighter so you can use it under the eye you can use it on the cheeks wherever you really want but it's not gonna add a lot of bright uh, shimmer it's gonna add that kind of lip from within glow so this is really pretty as well as their vivid baked highlighter in golden lights and this is a white with shifts of yellow and it's really pretty on the skin I love when a highlighter has a shift to it so when you turn your head it's kind of a different color mine today is green but um, this one is so pretty as well. These are great quality and I think they're $7 at Ulta, but they usually have buy one get one half off or buy two get one free. So Revolution Makeup definitely has a lot of good deals at Ulta. Um, so keep your eye out on those. And then a Mali Effortlessly, Effortlessly Airbrush Highlighter Illuminator in Stardust. And this is just a straight up gold really pretty it reminds me of the gilded honey from 
um, Laura Geller and kind of similar to the Amber Easy, although I think that's a little bit different, uh, maybe a little bit lighter. This is so, so pretty. I love this. It's so smooth. It's not glittery. It's just shimmery and so pretty. It looks really nice on the skin. And then a couple um, last few products, lip and an eyeshadow. So I went back to using Ludwig from Kat Von D. I love this. This is one of my favorite formulas, but a beautiful color. It's so pretty. It lasts all day long. Love that. Continue to go back to that. Um, this Buxom Gloss in the shade Sugar. So pretty. I love it. It's just that kind of tan, pinky shade you can just throw on and forget about it. You don't have to constantly check to see if it's in place or if it's gone outside the lips. I just love that um, no-brainer kind of gloss. And then this Essence Cute Nude is the color. It's a Sheer and Shine lipstick. It does have that kind of plasticky lipstick smell, like that play makeup smell, but it's a really pretty pink and just a nice everyday shade. So for, I think, $1.99, $2.99, something like that for the lipstick, I can look beyond the scent because it's a great quality product. And then I went back to using the Comfort Matte in the shade Stark Naked from Urban Decay. This is like my perfect nude. It's like right in the middle, a little bit warm, just very, very pretty. Love that. And then the last product I was using this week was the Metal Shock Eyeshadow from um, Essence. And this was uh, Stars and Stories. So I kind of went back and forth on this because it comes out as a wand, which was really cool. And it went on the eyes, but then I thought it kind of faded. But I got so many compliments on my eye look that day. So I was kind of like, oh, well, maybe... <laughs> I don't know, maybe I do like it. It's definitely not like a steel of glitter, but it's trying to be along the same lines of that product. I like it. I probably would purchase another color or two. They're not very expensive. Check them out if you haven't already. Um, I think they're worth the price, but they're not going to directly compete with the steel ones. The steel ones definitely have the product from Essence Beat, but definitely great product. So. I didn't dislike anything this week. That was really great because going through my makeup collection again, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know about some of these things that I've had, like samples and stuff like that. You know, you always find something. But this week, we are dud free. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any recommendations you have because I'm looking to do some big hauls in August and September. So um, let me know what you guys have been trying recently, and I will talk to you soon.